you know Chris Christie to an extent. Um, why do you think, I mean, you know, Stephanopoulos, and we're going to focus on this in the Gimme Five, Stephanopoulos made a fool of him. I mean, you know, Trump stinks on this. Trump's awful on that. Don't believe Trump on this. And then he had to defend every position, uh, you know, when Stephanopoulos asked him, how could you support him now? And he was basically like, hamina, 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 he's okay. Right. Well, let me just be clear, Steve. I don't know Christie personally. I've followed his career very closely because uh, it's been of interest to me, both as a resident of New Jersey and as somebody who was at the uh, Justice Department. Right. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, I, I am very familiar with his career. I don't know him personally. But I think, you know, frankly, he made a fool of himself, and, and Stephanopoulos just uh, <laughs> shine a light on it, as you would expect him to do. I, I, what surprises me, to be honest, Steve, is that um, a lot of people are expressing disappointment at what Christie did in backing Trump, who he previously said was unqualified. To me, I, I'm not remotely disappointed. It's exactly the sort of thing I would expect Christie to do. He's a he's an opportunist. Uh, you know, he, almost nothing that comes out of his mouth is true. Uh, so. But I, I'm just not at all surprised. Yeah, all and right. I don't think it. And I also don't think it'll make any difference. No, no, if, no. If his, uh, if his almost two percent support flocks to <laughs> uh, to Trump, I couldn't agree with you more. And I can only imagine he was uh, promised uh, at least consideration, if not actually getting a, a nomination to be attorney general. Because I can't imagine uh, why else he would uh, he would he would go well, that I've, route. I'm sure the 29 percent of New Jersey residents <laughs> who, who approve of his uh, of the job he's doing will be thrilled. Yeah.